good evening or good afternoon, wherever you may be. I hope you're all fine and well today. Welcome back to the Starman channel. We've got some serious low pressure systems um, heading into the UK and Ireland, Northern Europe and Western Europe during the course of the next five to seven days. And we will be focusing on the progression of these systems through this broadcast today. First we'll look at the H58 PA temperature anomaly for the Northern Hemisphere. And as you can see, if we draw a line around the Northern Hemisphere there, we've got some significant cold episodes and negative troughing going on at the moment. If we take a look at the USA, we can see along the central areas of the USA there, heading a go over to the eastern, and it goes far down as the Gulf of Mexico into Texas and Florida. If we then go across into Ireland and the UK, we can also see a significant passage of cold air that's coming in towards UK and Ireland at the moment. And again, throughout the coming days, this will progress through to Germany, France, Spain, Holland and Poland. Again we see Russia in significant trouble there with temperatures and Eastern Asia also feeling this winter. This is a situation we have across Europe at the moment and here we can see infrared satellite and this great big band of precipitation that's just moved through the British Isles and it's heading east through Poland and Germany at the moment. We can follow this up with the GFS 850 HPA height anomaly with winds in KT and mean sea level pressure at the centres of HPA. If we look at these barbs here ladies and gentlemen at the centre of this low pressure which again is sandwiched this high pressure is very persistent out in the Atlantic, ladies and gentlemen, and it's acting as a very, very strong block. If we look across here at the KTs, we can see the centre of this anomaly is around about 70 to 75 KTs. How we can tell this with the barbs 50, 60, 70 KTs. We can see from the satellite that we've just looked at of this leading hedge here, and this is of as six o'clock in the morning. Again if we look at the precipitation rate ahead of this storm we can see at the moment Poland and indeed the Alps again um, another blasting of snow. Poland's been relatively free however these systems are going to be progressing for five or six days. We can see Northern Ireland there on the west coast, all the way up the west coast and indeed into Northern Ireland. We can see Northern Scotland, west of Northern England, and it may even come down as far as the Midlands and indeed into Northern Wales there. You've often heard me talk about cyclonic vorsicity, and I've got a few emails of people on substitutes asking me the question, well, what exactly is vortis de advection? So vortis de advection leads to rising or falling pressure at the surface. Vorticity is the localised rotation of the air. Air that rotates counterclockwise, such as in cyclones and troughs, is said to have positive vorticity. Clockwise rotating air such as in high pressure systems and ridges, has negative vorticity. The advection of vorticity at high levels will result in a response at the surface which will attempt to offset the effects of the advection. More specifically, vorticity advection is indicative of rising motion and falling pressures at the surface. So for example, 
if we take a look at this 500 millibar map which was taken at 1200 hours on October the 29th 1995 we can see the center here of a low pressure system and indeed we can see the falling pressure at the center of this system at the surface again if we go down and look at a different area of the map taking the background out there's the low pressure system and there's the area most likely to have the most direct vorticity so there you have it a little brief but to the point so you all know what cyclonic vorticity and advection means in a trough it means falling pressure at the surface so we'll go on and have a look at a map that's current to see what the vortices is bringing our way if we now move on to the same system as we've been looking at and look at the cyclonic vorticity indeed we can see at the center here the effects of the vorticity at earth substantial amount of water there ladies and gentlemen as you can see through Norway Denmark and into Germany and this westerly will bring it across into Poland so can we tie this vorticity at surface with snow amount and precipitation amount and indeed if we look at this 6 hour average precipitation rate in millimetres per hour and mean sea level pressure and we can see the leading edge here is a predictive snowfall if we move a look at the cyclonic vorticity it's telling us exactly the same picture if we move this through until noon on Tuesday January the 16th this is the predictive snowfall amounts for Northern Ireland and Western UK ladies and gentlemen and we can see across Manchester there I know I've got a few subs in Manchester I'd like to tell me if this does actually um, come to fruition again up the west coast of the UK even as far down as Swansea and South Wales we can see Norway here is getting hit substantially and again across the Alps we're going to see significant accumulations of snow so we'll look at the cyclonic vorticity and see what's happening with that and indeed again we can see these small bands of snow showers hitting the UK we can see across the Alps there significant amount of snowfall and indeed up along Norway the centre of this storm is absolutely loaded full of precipitation which will fall as snowfall on the surface again if we move this storm system through into midnight on Tuesday night as we can see this is now starting to dip into southern areas of Ireland and the UK however looking at the system forming across the Alps there and through Switzerland this does suggest strong cyclonic vorticity activity at the surface so we'll go along and we'll have a look at that again substantial amount of snowfall there and coming out through the back end of Poland again we see snowfall indeed again this does tie up with the vorticity as we can see most intense there for western northern parts of Scotland across the Lake Districts down into North Wales West Wales again Italy on the coast there on the west coast we can see it we'll pan this system again through 12 hours into midnight on Wednesday we can see a significant area again of the UK in the northern UK there up in the Nottingham area and through 
up into the northeast and northwest of the UK. Here we can see significant amounts of snowfall for Moldova and the Ukraine coming out of this low system here. Again, 60 to 70 mile an hour winds. So this will be blizzardous, ladies and gentlemen. Mainstream media seem to be playing this one down, but give it another few hours and it'll be plastered all over Twitter on the BBC News and all the other mainstream media BS. Mainstream media have not been too clever this year, I do believe, with uh, coverage of such events. A little late in publication, for my liking. People need to know what's coming in advance. I try to bring an advance warning system to people. Whoever's watching my podcasts and YouTubes should be aware of what's happening. So, here we have significant amounts of snowfall as I've just mentioned. This is the area of low pressure you can see here from the 850 HPA heights through Moldova and the Ukraine that will be bringing substantial snowfall and moving the northern hemisphere H50 HPA temperature anomaly indeed we can see here that the correlation is indeed significant. We can see the USA again we mentioned earlier the significantly low temperatures in central USA and eastern USA and again this is going to plummet towards the Gulf and Florida. There is a significant respite period for the USA starting on the 20th of January as we can see here. Apart from the very very low southern eastern parts and Florida and indeed the far western reaches of the USA we can see an high pressure ridge dropping down into the USA starting the 20th. This situation will stick around for the USA until around the late 22nd, early 23rd. As we can see, a significant area of low pressure and troughing entering back down there from the western side of Canada. However, Europe is a different story as we can see significantly cold remaining for there. Now if my subs in the UK as I've mentioned that storm system starting well actually it's already started as you can see the winds picking up in the West Midlands already. I'd like for you or my subs in the UK to send me your weather reports from where you are whether it's snowing, raining, cold or whatever. This will give me peace of mind that my forecasts are indeed accurate. If we pan forward now to the HPA at 850 on the 24th there are two significant low pressure systems one sweeping across northern Scotland and one sweeping across southern England again 50 to 60 to 70 kt winds is going to be bombarding the UK if we look at the average precipitation rate for that day we can see that this system it's going to bring a substantial amount of precipitation to most parts of the UK. And here we have the two systems that I refer to. And that is of Wednesday, January the 24th. So we'll move on and look at the GFS total snowfall, which does include sleet in centimetres and we're assuming a 10 to 1 ratio where 10 being snow and the 1 being liquid. If we look across here Moldova and the Ukraine into Russia we can expect to see 55 to 60 centimetres of snow again across the Alps we can see Poland, Germany and France we can see Turkey and Italy. We can see western parts of northern UK. The 
very lucky ladies and gentlemen in the UK and Ireland very lucky we don't want to be seeing these sort of totals that we've seen in the Ukraine um, you, you know this is blizzardous conditions ladies and gentlemen so if we've got anybody watching who are actually located in these areas please take heed make plans this is going to happen GFS has been quite good with predicting low pressure systems troughs and ridges throughout this winter they've not been very accurate with snowfall as we can see they have underestimated on most occasions so indeed these figures here could be in effect substantially larger than what's been predicted I know one of my substitutes lives in Holland and a couple live in Poland and yes indeed these systems are going to bring you snow again Norway and Denmark see significant accumulations of snow if we look at the accumulation rate of snowfall as of midday on Tuesday January the 16th and progress it through we can see the areas of vorticity that we've mentioned as I'm now highlighting here significant accumulations there ladies and gentlemen across the whole, whole of North, Eastern and Western Europe we're even seeing it in northern areas of Spain and also how often do we see snow accumulations indeed in Morocco we can see snow accumulations of up to 20 to 30 centimetres in Turkey and Bulgaria so look at the cyclonic vorticity on the 24th absolutely ma massive amounts of participation um, reaching earth there or surface I should say and we can see the amount of snowfall that's happening across the whole of Europe as I previously mentioned in my last video we can see this substantial area of sub-zero temperatures if we're adding in wind chill here again we're looking at about 20 minutes outside with inadequate clothing you'll be at risk of frostbite we can draw a line there from North Dakota right the way down to northern Mexico and all the way across to the east coast as this progresses down there are two key areas on the CONUS for the USA that have got me alarmed at the moment and we can see these two areas here heading in to Seattle and coming out of Oklahoma there's going to be some significant snowfall coming out of this ladies and gentlemen and indeed we could see some significant blizzardous winds so we'll progress this up and see where we end up with it again the Great Lakes comes into contact with yet more snow as it heads off up the northeast coast through Canada there and another system heads in so is winter over? indeed not so if we look at the system from a different angle and look at the GFS 850 HPA heights wind and mean sea level pressure again that's a massive storm system there ladies and gentlemen with significant winds just to the east of the eye there up to around 70 to 75 kt's and this will progress off up into Canada and out over Nova Scotia so 
So there we have it ladies and gentlemen. Ireland, UK, Europe, Northern Europe and Western Northern Europe. Please pay attention to your local forecasters. They should be pretty accurate. However, they might not give you a warning for several days. Prepare now. Stay ahead of the game. Again, the USA are going to be seeing troughing and ridging throughout. Please don't get comfortable with the rest bite during the 20th to the 23rd. However, go and sit on your porch and have a drink. <laughs> And, and then wait for the next system to come through. In the next video, I've been asked to elaborate a little bit on cosmic rays, their origins, their cause, their effect on Earth. So, in the next video, we'll touch on cosmic rays amongst several other topics. For now, you have been watching the Starman. Thanks very much for joining me. Stay safe, keep warm, and if indeed, get the logs ready. That's the Starman out.